Welcome to Sorted Ultimate Battles. Three lifelong mates go head to head to head to cook up the ultimate dish around a theme. Their friend and chef Ben will judge them on taste, but ultimately you decide who is victorious. Let's do this! Pasta. Pasta. But this battle is going to be slightly different because to get to having our pasta, we need to work together to get it from this to, to being pasta. Pasta. So before we tell you what we're going to do, let's do some teamwork and play some motivational music. Come on, everybody. Montage it. Team. One, two. Team pasta. Three. Pasta. Team. Oh, well, well done. Nicely done. That is a good sprinkle. That's some excellent cutting. Good cutting. That's Thank you so much. I would say they are perfect thirds and if anyone were to disagree with me they might be right but they'd be horrible <laughs> yeah okay let me get that for you guys thanks hey. mike this is gonna this is gonna oh, be yeah. excellent pasta baz hey, you, honestly on. you have lost weight that is on <laughs> you have lost some weight you have lost some weight it's amazing what you can achieve when you come together and work as a unit okay last time final one Here we go. all baz. together yeah um i've just remembered how jamie's conducted himself over the rest of the battles oh yeah it's just made me suddenly think of something, and um, I don't know if you just want to feed that in now. Yeah. But I'm done. I think I am as well. Should we, should we get started? Yeah, let's get cracking. Right, okay. right. <laughs> boys, 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 come on. There's no I in team, but there are five in individual brilliance, and I'm going to tell you about my pasta dish. Bloke pasta serves two blokes. It's a tagliatelle, it's got loads of meat in it, but I'm pimping that recipe and elevating it by putting lobster, some extra additional flavours in, and making a really fresh, zesty, delicious pasta for blokes and bloquettes. It's gonna start with tagliatelle. So I'm gonna take this, the pasta, and fold it back on itself, and then cut strips about 1.5 centimetres. That's definite taggers. I am making a lasagna with my favourite flavours, mushroom and goat cheese. So I'm cutting my pasta into squares, like this. Square, isn't it? When it comes to pasta dishes, you can't beat a classic. I'm going for a fettuccine alfredo. There's not many ingredients, but when it's done well, my God, is it done well. I'm cutting my pasta into fettuccine shapes, sizes, uh, but actually, the first thing I really need to do after that is to get my chicken cooking. Heating up that olive oil in that pan, and then you just drip there. Then I'm going to take these sausages, which are high quality sausages. They have a high pork content in them, so make sure if you're going to replicate that, you use these. Squeeze out the sausage meat into bite sized chunks and fry them off in this pan. Whilst I'm waiting for my chicken to cook, I can get. <laughs> Whilst I'm, waiting for <laughs> Whilst I'm waiting for my chicken to cook, I can get on with prepping the other ingredients. Now there's not much that goes into this Alfredo, but it is incredible. We're going to dice up a bit of garlic, we're going to melt some butter in a pan. Now it looks like a lot of butter, and that's because it is a lot of butter. Right, for my mushroom mixture, I've got some mushrooms on the go, a pan unattended, that's dangerous, and not only that, but that amount of butter is also dangerous. I've got some onions about to go in, and some chopped garlic. Just spoken to James and worked out that um, Barry's going to have at least another hour before his is ready, and mine's going to be ready in about five minutes. So I'm going to turn it off, and oh, okay. we'll pick this back up again in 50 minutes. Into my mix, I've got some walnuts going in. Following that, I'm throwing in a whole glass of white wine. My sausage is nice and brown now, I've been on holiday, so it's time to chuck in some garlic powder, dried oregano, fennel seeds, and some chili flakes. And now time for my white wine. Now time for my white wine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop copying. Whilst I'm waiting for these goons to hurry up and finish what they're doing, I can grate some parmesan and then do some more waiting. This is going to look like a lot of parmesan, and the reason for that is it's a lot of parmesan. Jamie's go-to midweek meal. Every day. It's so passive-aggressive. You're turning into Ben. I'm not passive-aggressive, I'm full-on aggressive. Well, come at me then, brah. 
whilst my mushroom sauce reduces, I've got some time to kill. So I thought I'm going to make some garlic bread to go with my lasagna. I'm going to crush and chop my garlic, mix that in with some butter, and spread that on my flatbread. Stick that in an oven, and it's as easy as that. So hang on, let me get this straight. You're making your pasta dish, yep. you've made your pasta, yep. you're making your garlic flat bread, yep. and you've made your tomato sauce. Well, yeah, we'll go with that, yeah. So the time that you've spent trying to make a garlic flatbread, you could have made a tomato sauce in, is that what you're saying? Jamie, what would you rather? Would you rather tomato sauce <laughs> that is or, or such more a good food? Question. <laughs> in your meal, would you rather tomato sauce or more food? In an ultimate battle, I prefer you to be honest. I'll be honest. Now, I'm There's going... no camera there, mate. Right, it doesn't matter. We're just moving <laughs> on. We're moving on. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you think we're going to be able to taste the lies in Barry's lasagna? Maybe it's a lasagna. <laughs> that has reduced down nicely, so I'm going to take that off the heat. It's pre-cooked lobster. I'm just going to scoop this out, get all the lovely meat, um, and then move on to my pasta. For my kale, all I'm doing is cooking it off in 100 ml of water. I'm then going to basically douse it in lemon juice and salt and pepper. Now everyone else is finally ready. What do you mean everyone else? Barry. Now Barry is finally Thank ready. You. Yeah, we fine. can continue making the Alfredo. We're going to put the chopped garlic into the melted butter, leave that to fry gently for a few minutes, and then we're going to add in our double cream and our torn up chicken. We're going to bring that up to pretty much a boil. Add in half our parmesan. This is going to be great. That looks tasty. I feel like we've gone from one extreme to another. Yeah, but that's how we work, isn't it? It is. No middle ground. We're like a couple on Gong Girl, but at the end. Yes. Mm. Not in the shower. My pasta water is seasoned and is at a rolling boil, which is perfect for cooking pasta because it keeps the pasta moving and stops it from sticking together, which is why you don't need to put oil in it. My lasagna sheets are now done. It's working! You sprig the parsley for a little bit of colour, toss this in right at the last minute, then we can get cooking our pasta, then we can toss it all together, and then we can live like kings. Dead king. This is the bit that matters. This is the bit that matters. Does this bit matter? Well, bother. Yes! I don't know if I've won already. Oh, that looks quite good. I don't, that, that's, that looks quite... Oh no, they all look really good. I've, I've never wanted to eat your dishes as much as I have my own. Three I, stunning plates of pasta. Starting with Mike's, I know where the inspiration came from. I've seen the photo already uploaded Sorted Food and that looks a hundred times better, so it's already winning. What you've done is taken both ends of the scale. One of the cheapest sources of protein, sausage, with one of the more sort of exquisite, lobster. The fennel is amazing, mm. the lemon is amazing. Very good. Okay, pasta has a good bite to it. Mm -hmm. Very well cooked. All right. Chicken is also just, just cooked, so it's not dried out. It's a creamy, cheesy sauce. Not many places to hide, <laughs> however. Not many places to hide that Parmesan either. <laughs> oh, that's the Parmesan at the bottom. I was a little wow. bit confused by the need for extra Parmesan at the bottom, until you get there. And then you get a bit, and you're like, thank you very much. This looks like something Barry's done, because it looks good. Looks like it's probably cold by the time it reaches the table. Oh. However, what it does have is every colour and every texture already in there. <laughs> Goat's cheese, salty and creamy. Crunch of walnut, That's slightly awful. bitter. The kale is awesome. These pasta sheets, fresh lasagna. Oh, get on me. Spot on. Rolled out just it, the right thickness, it made for so just the right amount of time. Do I have a favourite? No. I want that one on Monday, that one on Tuesday, that one on Wednesday, and then repeat. But ultimately, it's still not up to me to decide. You guys have to pick a favourite. Are you going sausage and lobster? Are you going Alfredo? Or are you going a layer of vegetarian delight? You choose by commenting down below, Mike, Jamie, or Barry, and head to Salty Food for the full recipes. This is the hardest one, yeah. This is a tough mm. one. I wouldn't know where to vote. I'm going back for this one. <laughs>